If you're looking for the cheapest coins in Madden 23, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable. And make sure to use code WOLF for 3% off. Link is in the description. All right, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys two blitzes out of the big nickel over G that are pretty consistent and very easy to set up. What you're going to do with this blitz is you're going to force your opponent to block his running back. Now, before we get into it, man, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, become members. Full scheme breakdowns are in the members area. You want that competitive angle, that advantage. Make sure you check it out. Tight offset tight end, four, six, uh, dollar three, two, wild trio week. All those full scheme breakdowns are in the members area. It's what I use to go on very high win streaks, winning Super Bowls and ultimate team with a no money spent. I mean, you know, what else can I say? The game plays are on the channel. You guys want to check them out. All right, let's talk about this. Big nickel over G. This is Cardinals defensive playbook. However, the big nickel over G is in other playbooks as well. So make sure you go through them, check them out, pick the one you like. Uh, but let's talk about the personnel. I'm actually on the wrong controller. Personnel right here, big nickel over G is I'm going to have Baker already there. I'm going to just keep him there. But you can put your fastest corner. The only thing, the only reason why I like Baker in this position is because safeties have a better shot at tackling the quarterback than cornerbacks do. Cornerbacks will like just bounce off the quarterback and they won't get the sack. So be careful with that. However, I still use cornerbacks in my quarters defense, so I don't I don't give a damn. You know what I mean? Anyway, if you don't have a linebacker like Simmons, it's fast. You could put a safety in these positions right here where he's at. However, on this side, I do have Collins, so I'm going to go ahead and just put Washington in this position right here. Now, we're going to turn auto flip off because we want to make sure that we send the blitz from the same side every single time. And let's talk about the first one, which is going to be the cover two variant, which is the SS Blitz 2. I'm going to flip the play, come from right to left. OK, now, like I said, it's very easy to set up and it works very well against an unblocked running back. So if they try to uh, play with their running back unblocked, you're going to force them into a, a, an ugly situation. Now, your base setup is going to be just to pinch the D line left on a D pad left stick down. And then you're going to move Baker over to the edge right here. And then you're going to use the same side as the running back. Now you have two choices. You can try to play the middle, right? Uh, right here on the line, or you plant on the line right here. Typically, I'll be on this line in case the running back wants to swing. A lot of people like to hit wheel routes, flat routes, table routes, and stuff like that. And this is the base setup, okay? Now, as far as coverage behind it, because people will be in the comments, well, this guy's open. Well, that guy's open. You have to make those adjustments to counter everything. However, this is the base setup. This is what's going to be the setup to get it to work. So you'll see this guy coming off the edge, screaming off the edge pretty much. Now, if you wanna play around with your personnel and see if you can get it to come in a lot better or faster or just clean, go ahead and do it. But like I said, this one right here is effective in itself. Okay, so right off the edge, the guy comes and pretty much he doesn't have a lot of time to throw the ball. Now, it's only when they become, when they block their running back is when you have that problem. So if he blocks his running back, I think I blocked him. We pinch the D line, right? And we bring him this way play right here the running back will pick him up so well for the most part he's, yeah he's supposed to pick him up and the blocking gets a lot better on offense however you're taking routes off the field and that's what we're trying to do in this game okay now you got to understand your cover three seams cover cover four cover sixes all that good stuff so you can really understand what your defense needs to do in certain situations you see me calling different de uh, defenses in my gameplay according to how many yards my opponent needs what down it is just stuff like that I try to play as smart as I can to win my games. So again, the base setup is the pitch D line, bring this guy in this way, and then hover over the gap like this. And then you're gonna see that, and then you put the user. Now let's talk about some base uh, setups that you can use as far as coverage. So as, as we set this up, we pinch the D line, bring this guy in, you can shade underneath because what's going to happen is your opponent's gonna start looking for table routes, flat routes, things that he can get the ball off early. He's even gonna be looking up the middle. Okay, so if I have hard flats on my left side and I'm playing right here, I don't need to guard the hard flat. I can come jump these routes right here, okay? Jump underneath to the running back. And another thing is, is this is what I like to do sometimes is I'll pinch the D-line, bring this guy down here, right? Shade underneath, and then I'll take the A guy and then I'll man him up to like A, R, B. So let's just say R, B for this instance, and then I'll watch the running back. So if the running back comes up, boom, we wait, boom. Now you're seeing the A route. So this is where it becomes the chess move. Okay, what if I just do it this way? Because a lot of people like to keep doing the same thing over and over, then you'll just man up the tight end. And now I can just jump this route, come back, come down to this route. Just so it's, it's like I said, it's a chess game. You're gonna force him, once he blocks his running back, then you'll have less people to guard. 
and, and, and defend. Okay, so check this out. This is the next play right here. This is gonna be the SS LB Blitz. This is a man variant. Flip the play just like that. It's gonna work the same way, same exact thing. Same setup, pinch the D-line, move this guy in here, be on the running back. He is your uh, uh, assignment, snap the ball, boom, he comes off the edge anyway. So your assignment is the running back. And what's cool about it is, is, is if he blocks the running back, you still have man up principles. So you can press, shade over the top, shade outside like that. So now we can have outside coverage. And then we have the screamer coming in off the edge. So if he tries to use his running back, like you see right here, we can wait, we get multiple pe people coming in here. Now what's cool about the big nickel is that it's ability to stop the run game, okay? So it, it's a mix between stopping the run and defending the pass. So it's like middle ground. And some of the plays you have in here are pretty good. You have the cover one hole. And you gotta understand how cover one and cover two man works, how the shading properties work, how everything works. I'll explain it in future videos. Uh, we have the regular cover two. We have SS Blitz three, which is probably another variant. So if you feel like they're going to be throwing 10 yards or more, you can run the SS Blitz three. It's actually three blitzes then, depending on the situation, how this one works. Okay. So if they need like more yards, I would uh, branch off into the cover three and just make sure that your inside third is on the side of the bunch. Okay. Because they will beat you in the seam this way. Pinch the D line. Boom and he comes off the edge. So you have a cover two variant, a cover three variant, and a man variant all out of big nickel. That'll put the pressure on your opponent a lot. I'm talking about he, it's gonna put pressure on him. You may not get him all the time, but he's always gonna know that that is coming off the edge and it's going to force him into a bad read eventually. So like I said, some of the plays, you have the cover four quarters. So if they run, like let's just assume they're running, what kind of run plays they got in here? Is it just draw? Got to have at least one more good run play in this one, right? They don't. Okay, so inside zone. You feel like they're running inside zone. You run the cover four quarters, right? You can leave the match principles or shade underneath and bring your safeties down if you feel like they're going to uh, uh, run that. And you can press as well. And all you do is you wait for that inside zone. And like I said, cover four quarters is designed to meet them at the line, baby, because of the run fit. So back to the instant replay, you guys can actually see uh, how these safeties work that I brought down. These guys are waiting, okay? These guys are waiting for the run game. That's why I bring them down the box and cover four quarters because they wait, they're waiting. The run fits actually are designed to expect the run if it's a run play. Now, had I used, uh, uh, let me go to the uh, cover two, I bring my safeties down, right? And he's running inside zone. Watch what the safeties do. They don't sit there waiting for the run. They're gonna backpedal. They backpedal and now we're not in there for the for run stopping. So we want instant run stopping with outside corner capability. See, that's the thing with cover four quarters is if I baseline press, pinch the D-line, crash them down and then bring my safeties down, I just took away corner routes from you, okay? I gave you the table routes, the flat routes, but I could take those away by shading underneath. And you gotta be careful with this guy. You make sure that you know who your flats are. But the quarter flats are taken away, corner routes are taken away, typically, the fast routes are gonna be taken over. If you got a baseline twice, you baseline twice to get your uh, blues set up properly. So remember that baseline twice will actually help you uh, with this right here. So I'm just giving you guys the heads up, the way the way things work, you're taking away corner routes, you're taking away a post uh, with this guy. So like Saints out won't work. Um, and you're taking uh, in routes and posts right here by bring, just by bringing the safeties down. I'm telling you guys, cover four defense is really good this year in Madden 23 because of the way they jump routes and play corner routes and crossing routes. They even play crossing routes really good. So if they want to run the ball. Like I said, we have our safeties in position to stop them at the line. That's pretty much why we use that defense. So there it is, man, just going over some of the stuff. I'll go over more in depth with you guys in a later video, but use these to your advantage. Make sure you drop a like. Love you guys, man.